All right, Shalom. Shalom. We want to start by giving all praise and honor and glory to Yahweh, Ba Hashem, Yahweh Shai, Ba Hashem, Rakak Wadash. Double honor to the apostles and elders of Great Millstone. Shalom to all the Akim out to push the word of sincerity and the truth. Yes, the brothers here from Great Millstone, Atlanta. Um, yeah, we got this uh, lesson going into uh, the YouTube ban of uh, all racist, sexist, and hate speech videos. You know, like, we in the end, man. You know, mm -hmm. you know, today we was uh, having a major discussion on this Israelite um, shootout that took place. What was the location? Um, New Jersey. New Jersey. Mm -hmm. Jersey's been hot lately, man. There's been a lot of things that's been going on in Jersey. Mm -hmm. But um, that uh, shootout with the uh, Israelite and he uh, shot up the Jewish uh, deli, you know, and he, he hit a couple of individuals, killed a couple of individuals and whatnot. And um, that's that's um, ringing all over the news. And a lot of people have their two cents to put in that sentiment, you know. Mm -hmm. Now we're uh, no tour, you know, they're looking at us like public enemy number one, you mm -hmm. know. Um, you know, like getting no notoriety through just assholes as, as such, and they're painting the picture um, like that's how we get down. You know, mm -hmm. we, we about gun busting. You had Johanna on, um, I think it was Vice News, Vox News, maybe Vice. I think it was Vice. Yeah, Vice News, uh, shooting guns. And uh, all that is, is to um, paint a image upon so called black Hebrew Israelites. Mm -hmm. And and you see all kind of different skin tones in our in our so-called organization, for lack of a better term. You know, you have um, brothers uh, from Negro uh, ilk, or or uh, from the Negro race, Latino race, mm -hmm. uh, uh, natives. And if if you really want to get technical, it's, it's individuals that look like they're from the white race, all right, mm -hmm. from the Asian race, different parts of all over the world. So you can't say it's a black thing, you know. Mm -hmm. We don't even um, conform to the to the um, the definition of black. We mm -hmm. don't say that we're black. That's one of the things within our so-called doctrine that we condemn is the statement of calling ourselves black. But they keep pushing this black thing, yeah, black, black thing. Hebrew Israelites. Yeah, black Hebrew Israelites. Like like they had the white supremacists. Mm -hmm. You know, the Ku Klux Klan was a white supremacist hate group, and uh, you see how that whole group itself is eradicating is looked down upon mm -hmm. you know and they're trying to put us in that same box and erase us from um our, our spiritual you know or our outlets mm -hmm. you know and that's why youtube you know is going full circle you know the connection is a uh, full circle that's why youtube is is trying to play a part in uh basically attacking our freedom of speech mm -hmm. but we know that to be biblical prophecy anyway so it ain't like we get butt hurt you know and um feel a certain way we know these things to come to pass, and um, you know they're coming to pass right before our eyes, as it is written in the end of prophecy shall speak. That's right. All right, and um, I'll um, uh, matter of fact, if you can read uh, Hosea four and one real fast, kind this oh, uh, uh, this Hosea chapter four and verse one, it says, "Hear, hear the words of Yahweh, ye children of Israel, for for Yahweh." Had the controversy with the inhabitants of the land, mm -hmm. because there is no truth, nor mercy, nor knowledge of the Most High in the land. Yeah, see, so the scripture says there is no truth, nor mercy, nor knowledge of the Most High throughout the land, mm -hmm. and and that's starting to get more and more scarce. Publicly speaking truth, which they deem as conspiracy, mm -hmm. you know, is is heavily looked down upon. Yeah, you know, even though. These things that look at conspiracy theories are all true. It's, yeah. it's facts, it's evidence. It's like this whole thing where um this guy Juice World. You know, I watched a video today where they were saying the conspiracy behind Juice World, and um he, he basically was saying that he sold his soul to the devil. Yeah. You know, he had the large uh bond far looked like it was in front of him and he was walking mm -hmm. towards it. And um he said, I'm selling my soul to the devil. Yeah. You know, and then they showed the um, shorts he had on in another image, and it had written upside down, overdose. See? And that was the uh, cause of his death. And, um, you know, Pastor Hart did a lesson on how he prophesied his own death. Now, are all those conspiracies, are all these just make-beliefs and speculations? It, the, 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 um, the, the links match, man. Mm -hmm. You know, such as uh, also the the thing with 9-11 being an inside job. The government and their cons conspiracy 
to destroy blacks, Latinos, and Native Americans, which in Georgia, we're here in Georgia, we have plaques, man, where it speaks about that, and that, in the, in the Georgia Godstone, and they still haven't yanked that down. Yeah. So those commandments are, are still alive and in place today, mm -hmm. but they want to make us seem like we're quacks, we're crazy, we're, um, we have no business uh, putting this type of information out on public media, media outlets, so to speak, you know, it's, because yeah. cause YouTube is really a media outlet, you know? Yeah, it is. You have news reporters, you have Dabu, you have individuals that, um, you know, use uh, YouTube as an outlet. And we do the same thing, but now we're getting the, the uh, flack behind it. Mm -hmm. You see? But like I said, it's, it's prophecy coming to pass. You can read a little bit more. Kind. It says, verse 2, Isaiah 4 and 2, it says, By swearing and lying and killing and stealing mm -hmm. and committing adultery, they break out and blood touches blood. Yeah, see? By swearing, lying, and killing, um, blood, basically blood touches blood. You know? Mm -hmm. and, and it speaks about, uh, if you could jump down to verse 6. John, it's verse 6. It says, my people are destroyed for lack of, for lack of knowledge. Right. So, so the the Israelites are destroyed because they don't know who they are. They, don't know, they can't identify the enemy in today's time. Mm -hmm. They don't understand the plans behind the scenes that the enemy is working on. Mm -hmm. They don't understand where they fit in this box of the world that we're living in, you know, on this earthly plane. Mm -hmm. You know, um, and that's why we go into the information. We go come strictly out of the book. Straight out of the book. Straight out of the book. But everybody has something to say about what we say. What we say. And I was reading the article um, pertaining to this guy that uh, killed the um, individuals in the deli shop. And uh, in the article, they was basically speaking about... Um, yeah, how he had a hate page. He had a hate page. Mm -hmm. uh, he was a former... They, they said he was basically a former Israelite. Mm -hmm. You know, they said a, a, a few things, and it was all just a negative... negative. Oh, they said he, he, he read... Um, Death-based scriptures, you know, mm -hmm. killing, killing, and very um, violent Bible passages, mm -hmm. and that's what uh, promoted his his ill nature. Now, you know, that that might be true. You know, he, he the scriptures has things pertaining to uh, killings. Mm -hmm. All right, but this is the this book is the law of the land. You know, yep. you can't say it like um, like we're just put painting our own. Picture the Bible speaks about I for I two for two. And who's the violent one that put all the violence upon us any goddamn way? The so called so -called white, white man. man. You yeah. know, but we never said that we're gonna carry guns. If you mm -hmm. search the mass, especially dealing in terms of brothers in, in Great Millstone, mm -hmm. um, you know, our households and things of that nature, which the, he saw is gonna look to do, you know, you're not gonna see uh, weaponries and pipe bombs and uh, uh you know, uh, man made bombs, man made bombs, yeah. you know, chemical weapons like we. <laughs> I mean, goddamn Syrians or uh, uh, fucking Arabs. Right. You know? We don't have that. You're going gonna to come in brother's house and see an Xbox. Mm hmm You know? Just ordinary. Just, just an ordinary household. But they're trying to paint this picture. Like, yeah. we create bombs behind the scenes. Mm -hmm. Like, we have, uh, you know, we're ordering things from the black market. Mm hmm You know? And we use YouTube to uh, to uh, assimilate and, and, and revel people, rev, basically uh, rev up troops to uh uh fight against the government mm -hmm. and, 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 and like yahweh shah said it best this is my kingdom my servants will fight you know we understand it that we're not gonna this isn't a physical fight mm -hmm. and, and if we were to uh if we wanted to get carnal we would have been got carnal right you know we have the uh resources to to um purchase you know guns and, and things of that nature but we know that's not where our fight lies man yeah the scriptures say uh for the weapons of our warfare are not carnal man mm -hmm. You know, which is uh, <clears throat> the main scripture that we bring out dealing with that with that situation, man. Mm -hmm. You know, and because at the end of the day, you know, uh, which the brother, you know, uh, Alba Baye and our group did the lesson earlier today. Hey, the, the blood, you know, is on you other it's like camps who uh, push that, you know, whole, uh, you know, rah rah, you know, guns, you know, shooting, you know, the shooting range, and you know, arm yourselves. That you you push that spirit out, man. Mm -hmm. You know, so when when the situation arrives, man, uh, the Esau is basically going to come for you first, man. Yeah, you guys are the culprits behind the, mm -hmm. the, uh, these different major shootings. They can't say they got that motivation from us. They watched the video. Pull up a video. Show show the evidence where we saying 
get you a Glock nine or, or you know, um, you know, um, you know, whatever nigga gun, automatic gun. Which of course the so called white men made these guns, but Jake promotes them. Mm-hmm. You know, get your uh, uh, Draco and, and and get the bussing. Mm-hmm. Go to your deli shops. Go to your Jewish supermarkets. Uh, you know where they're they're selling rye bread. You know and and and, and kosher meat. Yeah. And shoot it up. Shoot it up. And we ain't never said no no dumb dumb madness as such. Got and first off, that's thinking on an extremely low scale. Mm-hmm. You know. Which, like I said, we're not looking to blow up the Capitol building or anything like that. Right. That's not that's not the the fight that we're involved in. Mm-hmm. But if, for instance, that shows you how low. I'm just using that as an example. This guy that actually did that. He's a he's a low he's on a low level. Yeah. He's one of those class one mutants of X Men that that's um, looking to fight uh, fire with fire. Mm-hmm. You know, um, you know when you watch the X Men movie, you see how it was classes. There was levels to those um, those. Superhumans, yeah, and, and the top classes was really, uh, you know, examples was uh, Professor Xavier and uh, Magneto, you know, which they they were, were both extremely strong and, and very extremely intelligent, and they knew how to uh, perform in uh, adversity, you know. One was of course more aggressive, aggressive than the next, but the point is, the um, the layout is more mastermind based. We we fight mentally. The scriptures speak yeah. about how wisdom is better than weapons of war. Mm-hmm. You see, that's why YouTube itself is still looking at us as a threat, even though we haven't put up guns in none of these videos. We haven't put up swords. We haven't showed uh, 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 how to, like I said, how to detonate mm-hmm. explosives. Uh, how to create TNT? What's the best websites to uh, create uh, homemade uh, bombs? Yeah, we going straight. Just uh, scriptures speak about how this is a sword, man. You yeah. know, the script, the scriptures, man. The words cut deep, man. Mm-hmm. You know that's why, uh, you know that they, they even uh, making it to where they go, uh, you know, ban YouTube, man, because the words cut deep. Man. Mm-hmm. You know, and matter of fact, I will read that article mm-hmm. with YouTube, and you can get that Hebrews four and twelve too. That's a, oh yeah, kind of. You know, it says YouTube officially bans all racist, sexist, and hate speech videos posted December eleventh, twenty nineteen. It says, throughout the years, YouTube has been heavily criticized for not doing enough to get rid of content that is racist, sexist, and promotes any form of hate speech. Now, now if I could say, if, if the truth wasn't pushed on YouTube, this wouldn't happen, man. This would not happen. Mm-hmm. You know, you would still have your, you know, your whites. Because white, you have white supremacists on, on YouTube. You, got, you have those pages. You know, you have all sorts of, of other racial, you know, and hate speech pages, which if the if the truth wasn't pushed uh, on YouTube, that would that the, the, the um that wouldn't happen, man. But it's it's all according to prophecy. Yeah, and they're speaking you know? about sexist, um, you know, for the for the pure fact that um, you know, these these guys like polite can even speak about the black woman as God. That's that's a form of sexism, mm-hmm. man. You know, putting women above men. Mm-hmm. And women putting themselves on a high stature, you know all this. And, and if you really want to get in terms of hate speech and, and nigga music is hate speech. Yeah, hip hop and all that is is, is on the uh, internet right. heavily. That's a good point. You know, and, and hey, this guy Juice World spoke about how he got the motivation of uh, op- uh drugs, drug use from Future. You know, that's how he became an extreme opioid addict. The reason mm-hmm. why these kids are on all these drugs and killing. Is because of the, the rap music. That's right. You can listen to one rap song, and, and now you know about at least twelve different guns, man, mm-hmm. and seven different uh, types of drugs, mm-hmm. if not more. You know what locations these drugs are are, are, are located, whether the streets. They because these niggas are rap the streets. They'll rap the cities. They'll rap the uh, the drug dealing on the block. Mm-hmm. You know, but are they banning uh, these rappers from YouTube uh, and actually taking their performances? And things of that nature, the mixtapes off of these websites. Hell they no, promote, they promote it. They promote it. Yeah, hey, even even uh, you know on our pages, you know on the home page when you click on the YouTube app, you got all type of you know uh, hate speech and, and uh, sexist, feminist videos pop up. But we don't even have, we don't even you know uh, look at that sort of stuff, man. Mm-hmm. You know it's just there because YouTube is promoting it, man. Yeah, YouTube promotes uh, crap, but when it comes to the truth. They want to, um, you know, basically delete it. Mm-hmm. But a little bit more on it. It says, as reported by 
CBS News, YouTube will not remove any videos that hurl insults at, pe insults at people based on race, gender expression, sexual orientation, or other protected attributes. And that's that's all Esau's narrative. You know, mm -hmm. Esau has beat us down as a people. We was called niggas for years. You know, m monkeys, uh, spicks, wetbacks. Mm -hmm. You know, Trump spoke about how the locations we live in are shitholes. And things of that nature, but now uh, when we when we fight back, you know Esau wants to try to disable us. Mm -hmm. Esau wants to disable, and, and he wants that shows you he wants to control the narrative. Because at the end of the day, hey, if 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 white supremacists are talking their shit on the internet, that's on them. Mm -hmm. You know these Satanists that that get on their platforms and they you know rally up with their uh, witches and their, their Satanists, you know that's on them. Right. You know, YouTube is supposed to be a, a, a outlet for for videos. You know, and, and is is it illegal? Is it illegal to speak about racism and sexism? Like I said, is that's supposed to be one of the um, uh, uh, amendments? Freedom of speech. Uh, freedom of speech. You know, that should be that's supposed to be one of the things that actually each and every citizen gets by right to to actually freely speak on their viewpoints. Whether pertaining to race, like if somebody, if, if individuals said I don't like the black race, hey, that's that's part of your freedom of speech. Mm -hmm. Technically, you have uh, freedom to to have the opinion you want and voice it out publicly mm -hmm. because yeah. that's written within law. Exactly. You know, that's one of the oldest so-called uh, United States commandments. Mm -hmm. You know, but when it comes to us speaking about things and and, and going into it, the reason why and, and going into evidence, going into pictures, going into documents, going into uh, historical points. You know, that's when that's when it, uh, we're, we're a threat. Mm -hmm. But I want to uh, get a little bit more. It says the ban also extends to content containing veiled threats of violence, as the popular video streaming company takes necessary steps into further moderating what people can say in the videos they create and upload to the to the platform. You know, so. Basically, that's just, like I said before, that's just them uh, clipping and putting more and more boundaries and restrictions on YouTube. And that's that's going into the famine of the word, mm -hmm. you know, because before the, the word is totally out, it's, it's going to be diluted, so to speak. They're trying to get it to the point where you're politically correct, yeah. you know, but you uh, can't say the white man is the devil, mm -hmm. you know, you can't. Speak about the uh, America Jews. America being destroyed. You can't speak about America being destroyed. And they did it. To that point where you can't speak about this in the school system, you can't speak mm -hmm. about it uh, publicly on the street. They're gonna make it to that point where you can't speak about these things publicly on the streets. Mm -hmm. You got some? Yeah, I had some. Okay. This is uh, <clears throat> Second Corinthians chapter thirteen. Yeah, fine. Chapter thirteen, verse eight. It says, "For we can do nothing against the truth, but for the truth." Mm -hmm. You know, so hey, even though you know, uh, you know, YouTube has is putting this policy out. Hey, that's actually a good thing because the brother just spoke of, you know, the famine of the word. You know, so with that being said, hey, we understand that once, you know, the famine of the word come, the closer we we are to uh, Jacob's trouble, man, mm -hmm. for this thing to kick off, man. Yep. You know, that's why, you know, the um, apostles and the elders always push out that's, that it's important to keep up with the prophecies. Because when certain things start uh, happening and kicking off, you'll understand, you know, the time period that we're in, man. Mm -hmm. You know? That's right. Uh, and just like the scripture says, you can't do nothing against it before. And it's all fulfilling something. Mm -hmm. You know, the Lord controls both sides, the left and the right. And when he wants the, the left to to uh, ignite something uh, on the right, he he pushes them to, to, to manifest things through, through the left-hand side. Mm -hmm. Whether it's the so-called white man pushing a uh, policy. Scripture speak about the policy uh, within the scriptures. Mm -hmm. Whether he's uh, moving the troops certain places, whether he's uh, elevating in the tech world to push the mark of the beast, it's all controlled by Yahweh by Shema was shot. And it's for us to react a certain way. Because really, you know, it's not hurting us. Mm -hmm. To be honest, it's not crippling the movement. Yeah. You know, Yahweh, Yahweh, if anything, the most high, uh, Yahweh by, through the spirit of Yahweh by Shema was shot is doing these things so that we can uh, get closer to the hell out of here, man. Yeah. You know? Yep. So you shouldn't feel a certain way. 
you know, of course, that's this is our that's this is a major platform, and, and brothers love the the YouTube to vent uh, their frustration and things of that nature. But at the mm -hmm. end of the day, you know, we it was never said that we we're gonna be on this, this yeah. joint forever. Yeah, you know, mm -hmm. it's, it's to get this get this word out and and, and close up. You mm -hmm. know, but uh, you got a little bit more. Oh, that was it on that. I had that uh, ammo. ammo for you. Yeah, we can get that in all. Maybe one more so we can close. All right, come. This is uh, Amos Salaki. This is Amos chapter 8, verse 11. It says, Behold, the day is coming, saith the Lord power, that I will send a famine in the land, mm -hmm. not a famine of bread, nor a thirst of water, but of hearing but of hearing the words of Yahweh by Shimei Shah. Mm -hmm. Read that one now. Come. This is Amos 8 and 11. It says, Behold, the day is coming, saith the Lord power. Yeah, so the days are coming. And we're living in those times now. Now, that was written during the time of Amos, and it was obviously in B.C. times. But uh, generations have passed, centuries have passed, mm -hmm. and, um, you know, we're, we're living in that those exact same times. Yeah. Keep going. It says, uh, There I will send a famine in the land, not a famine of bread, nor a thirst of, for water, but of hearing the words of Yahweh by Shem Yahweh Shah. Yeah, and then it's going to get to the point where so-called conspiracy theories from all outlets, whether it's alternative media. You see how they did Alex Jones? Uh, mm -hmm. was that couple? They, yeah, they straight cut this page. Yeah, they, they did him uh, dirty, man. Mm -hmm. You know, stripped him naked, basically. Why? Because yeah. he was telling a lot of things pertaining to the truth. Mm -hmm. And they're going to do that to a lot of individuals that have something to say about the president. Mm -hmm. See, this is getting more into a, a totalitarian dictatorship yeah. base. Uh, a country that has full surveillance. They they're going through your phones, yeah. looking at your messages, looking at you, uh, you know, texting your woman and things of that nature. You mm -hmm. know, they got surveillance on all these smart TVs, looking at everything you do, and, and controlling everything you say. This is yeah. getting very, very. This is getting like on some real dictator. Yeah, dictator. Putin, Putin type. Yeah, like Russia, like over there in Russia, man. Adolf Hitler. Yeah. Nazi Germany type shit, man. Mm -hmm. Can't say nothing against women. Women cheat on you. They want to be a slut bag. Yeah. You, you call them a slut. They, you, you, you might get locked up. She can put you on child support. She can do all kind of foul stuff to you. Yeah. But if you you so-called foul mouth her, now you looked at as 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 the enemy of the uh you know the, the worst shit on the earth, man. Mm -hmm. And like I said, now they're painting it where where we're the new terrorists. Yeah. Arabs are starting to be the old terrorists. They they're trying to make it where we're the new goddamn terrorists, man. Yeah. Hey. If I can say too, that's why, uh, you know, uh, through the spirit of Yahweh Bashim Yahweh Shah, you know, starting with the apostles and elders on down, uh, here at GMS, we've been pushing, you know, a hey, watch how, watch, you know, uh, you know, certain things that you do, you know, whether it's on social media, you know, you know, brother shouldn't have a, a you know, a social media page, you know, showing their face and, you know, uh, putting and joining it with the truth. Mm -hmm. You know, we shouldn't hey, when we, on our everyday walk. We shouldn't be out, you know, uh, you know, like, uh, you know, uh, not basically ruling your spirit, man. Mm -hmm. You know, because Esau is going uh, is going to try to get you on every every single little thing, man. Yeah, he needs you know he needs a, a culprit. He needs something to to spark a wildfire against mm -hmm. us. He just need and that like that thing with the shoot. Yeah. You see how they just using that and they're blowing it out the water. And a lot of people are saying like, man, come on, man. Them Israelites don't get down like that. Yeah. You know, hey, just because uh, uh, one Catholic priest molests 30 children, y'all still, don't y'all still try to justify them? That all, well, the, all Roman Catholics aren't like that. Exactly. You know? Yeah. Say for instance, a, a pastor might get convicted of raping mm -hmm. somebody in the congregation. A lot of people uh, still go to that church after, man. Yeah, the reverend. I don't know if you, if, uh, your brother seen it, but that, it was like a marathon, and they had the, the news lady interviewing or uh, 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 commentating on the marathon, and the reverend, a uh, reverend just ran by and smacked her on the butt. Oh, the white uh, that yeah. was a reverend. Yeah, it was a reverend. Mm, see, but it, it, you know, but here it is. You know, any any little thing, you know, that a so called black Hebrew is like do, y'all, you you make uh you make sure that you make no uh, uh known of it, man. Yeah, they're trying yeah. to and they're trying to make it seem like a gangster movie. Yeah, you know, and that's 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 going to lead to the prophecy of them trying to throw us in jail. Mm -hmm. And I'm gonna get that scripture. You know, we'll close with that. But uh, okay. this is Revelation two and ten. Fear none of these things which thou shalt suffer. Mm -hmm. Behold, the devil shall cast some of you into prison. Mm -hmm. Hey, now now we know 
you know that hey for uh you know true sake that some of us some of us you know would be cast in the prison you know but hey if uh you know uh it's we we understand that it's all for prophecy sake man you know so whatever on the lot that Yahweh Bashem Yahweh Shah has for us you know uh we're willing to go through it man mm -hmm. you know that's why I says fear not because at the end of the day we know that Yahweh Bashem Yahweh Shah has the back of his service man that's right. It says that ye may be tried or tested, and ye shall have tribulation ten days. Be thou faithful unto death, and I will give thee a crown of life. See, it's always it's always that that reward at the end, man. Mm -hmm. You know that ten days basically uh, symbolizes completion, man. Mm -hmm. You know, so hey, the Lord always you know says so and so is going to happen, but you know if you endure or if you keep the faith. You receive salvation. You receive a reward. You receive that penny, man. Mm -hmm. You know that's why. It's, that's why. Uh, you know we can't continue to push so hard and to carry ourselves in a a professional manner according to the scriptures because we, we know that if we do those things that Yahweh Bashim Yahweh Sha, uh, you know, will, will make us a part of that number, that elect number, man. Mm -hmm. You know, and, and that's why the scriptures speak about also for us to do. Um, things without spot and blemish mm -hmm. in the midst of a, a crooked and perverse generation. So that when the so-called white man puts, you know, uh, basically doubles down on us, um, we'll be able to uh, have justifications. Mm -hmm. You know, we'll be pure like Yahweh Shah. You know, Yahweh Shah was innocent. Mm -hmm. And they came up with all kind of railing accusations. They they brought false witnesses. Mm -hmm. And they couldn't get the one up on Yahweh Shah. And he told us to do the same thing. Mm -hmm. You know, that's why the instructions are here. But you know, that's, this is just something we want to go into this article to ban. There's more things that's going to come out through the, through the spirit, you know. But mm -hmm. just want to drive that home, of course. So we're going to end it by giving all praise and honor, honor and glory to Yahweh, Ba'ashem, Yahweh Shah, Ba'ashem, Rakakwadash. Double honor to the Apostle and Edel's Great Millstone. Shalom, Shalom.